Hello. Today we're going to be talking about bloom where you are. You know that little flower that seems to somehow crack through the cement? That's what you are. You can bloom wherever you are. I'm Raya Barwani. Today we're going to be talking about how you can bloom wherever you are, no matter what's going on around you, whether you're in a place that helps you thrive or in a place that, help, that isn't so conducive to you blooming, so you can continue to smile and bloom wherever you are. There are times when we feel that the perfect life we have is not enough. Simple as that. There are other times when we feel that all we have planned, all we have worked on, has come to naught. There are times when we feel our prayers are not being answered and our goals aren't coming to fruition. And in those times, it can be tough for us to bloom. My favorite saying is by C.S. Lewis, where he says, you can't go back and change the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending. How? By blooming wherever you are. It's easy to bloom when you feel that your prayers are answered. It's easy to bloom when you feel that everything is going your way. Today we're gonna to be talking about blooming, even when you have just gone through a horrendous 2020 and you don't know how you're gonna go through 2021. Today, I share with you little ways, not only to grow or change, but to truly bloom, no matter where you are, no matter how you're feeling, no matter what's going on in your life. And what I've done is I've split into four little steps that when we work on them, it actually helps. So let's start. Step number one, choose to be happy. That's it. Choose to be happy. It's not easy. There are days when I wake up and I really don't want to get up. Those are the days that I get out of bed and I say, today I choose to be happy. I am mentally all in. So, love who you are right now. No matter how good or bad or whatever is going on, I love me just the way I am right now, right this minute. Get moving. Turn your house into a home. And when I say get moving, I mean physically get moving. I turn on the music in the morning before I go to work and I start dancing and I move my body and I look like a freak, okay? but I move my body so I can feel the energy that's in it. I've turned my house into a home. I'm not living in somebody else's box. It's my home. Remember what you can control. I can control what I wear. I can control how I drive. I can control the little things, every little thing that I can control during the day. And I find the best in every day. There may not, it may not be a good day. I'm never going to forget the day of my father's funeral. It was the most devastating day of my life. But I remember the good in that day. The weather was amazing. The flowers were in bloom. There were so many people there who had come to pay their respects. That is looking for the good and finding the best in that day. He went out at 10 a.m. with the beautiful birds flying ahead. And that was the best send off 
that he could have had. So, find the best in every day. Write a list of 30 things you're grateful for right now. Stop this video right now and write that list. What are you grateful for? 30 things right now. When you're done, develop an attitude of gratitude. Every day, what are you grateful for? Yeah, there's a lot in step number one. Let's look into step number two. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. What do I mean by stop complaining? Stop complaining. <laughs> Change the question from, why is this happening to me? Why is this horrible thing going on in my life? To how can I bring joy into my life and the life of others today? Get, up, get rid of, what if something goes wrong? What if this, what if that, what if what if what? No. Change it to, if this happens, then this is what I'm gonna do. Don't quit. Look around you and open your eyes to the beautiful things around you and the beautiful opportunities that is out there for you. Now that you've started with the attitude of, yes, I'm going to do it, and you've stopped complaining and turned that into solutions, you're ready for step number three, which is be a blessing. Do something for someone else. Make new friends. Or nourish the friendships you already have. Throw out compliments. If you see someone wearing something that you like, say it. I like your outfit. And if you want to start practicing, start by throwing me a compliment at the bottom of this video. I would really appreciate it. Okay? Show off your beautiful smile. Even if it's a toothy smile, it's still a beautiful smile. Show it off. Step number four, instead of expecting others and circumstances to change, learn how to change yourself. Sounds funny, huh? I can't change anything else. Remember I told you, look at what you can control. I can't control others. I can't control circumstances. I can control me. So keep improving. Like I said, turn your house into a home if that's what's making you miserable. Find a new hobby. Find out your why. Why are you in this life? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why, 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 why? And use that to motivate you to move forward. It may sound easier said than done, I know. These four steps and the examples I gave can be turned into small daily exercises that help you bloom. If you want support, you can contact me on raya at rayabarwani.com or visit my website, which is www.rayabarwani.com dot com for more information on how I operate or you can look at joining harmonious life building work-life balance group in Facebook where I give weekly videos exclusively to that group on how to build small practices so that they can bloom wherever they are I would love to help you bloom and move forward this year and every year. Have an amazing day.